Hello and welcome everyone. Welcome to yet another video on the GNS3 installation. And now we are adding nodes to the GNS3 VM. And uh, now in this video, I will show you how to add the Palo Alto uh, um, node inside the GNS3 VM. Now for this, the process would be the same. You have to click on the new template. Uh, and then you have to install this um, an application from the GNS3 server. Hit on next. Then you have the category of firewalls, go there. Then you have the PAVM. Okay, hit on install and then next. Now here also I hit next uh, and you would see that this is what you get from there, right? So, I mean, uh, depending on the version that you have in um, downloaded, so you need a QCOW2 image here. So for me, if I go here inside EVNG, if I see I have a OVA file, I don't need that. I need basically the QCOW2 file. So I'll go on the Palo Alto 10.0.0.0. So um, do I have this version 10.0? Yeah, I have this. So I can do what? I can import this. If I click on download, it will take me to the support portal. If I click here, so it will redirect me to the Palo Alto um, support.paloalto.com software updates and then you have to sign in and download the uh, image. Now um, you need to have this image with you. Uh, I can click on import and I can go to chemo and then go to Palo Alto 10.0.0. This is the one that I want to go. Now I have to rename this to exactly what you see here which is PA-VM then kvm then i have 10 dot 0 dot 0 dot qcow 2 right so this is exactly what i see on my um uh, gns3 site and hit on ok now if you have any other version which is not specified here then you have to create a new version okay and once you do this what will happen is the image has to be uploaded to the gns3 vm and that is what is happening right now uh, you can see my application has um, um, i mean gone into the state of not responding because in the background it is copying the image to the gns3 vm so we will have to wait until this is copied completely so this is around 2.8 gigs of uh, um, image that needs to be uploaded to the um, uh, to the vm if I look into the VM um, under the key move, I can see the PAVM KVM tender. Now you can uh, upload the files directly to this folder as well if you want, and then it will automatically de detect the particular version. But then um, you should know the file that has to be named to, right? Okay, so let's wait for this uh, file to be completely copied inside the GNS3 VM, then we can continue with the lecture. Okay, so this has been copied, so I'll click here and then say next and say yes and say finish. So it is giving you the um, default admin, admin username and password and some uh, basic uh, information about this right so i'll say it's even uh, i mean suggesting you how to set the ip on the um, management interface right and then finish that's very good okay now you would have your pa here okay now once you have the uh, pavm um, added to this um, gns3 you can drag and drop this here before that we can change the what do you say uh, the the configuration here uh, configure template and then if you want to increase the cpu so you can increase i've increased it to two and also ram two or 819 uh, you can also um change the symbol but i'm fine with this and hit on okay and also the console type i have changed to vnc you can also do the same thing and now once you are here let's add this to the nat or if I do the cloud, I want to see, I will add the, make sure you add the GNS3 VM, um, this cloud here, okay, for the server and click on, okay, I want to check what interfaces I have there. 
I have Ethernet 0, I have Ethernet 1. Now, if you go and check on the VM here, settings, you have two interfaces, right? You have the Ethernet 0, Ethernet 1. Ethernet 0 is host only. Okay, this is host only, but which adapter? This is NAT. Let's do one thing. So let's select the NAT as the uh, what do you say? Uh, yeah, so let's have the um, NAT, which is interface number two. If you go, sorry, ETH1, if you go, is the interface. So I'll just drag and drop it here. Um, click on this, click on the management, and ETH1 this time. Okay, ETH1. So you can see ETH1 and start. Now, ETH1 is on the NAT and it should um, automatically um, pull up an IP address from the DHCP on the management interface for the Palo Alto. Right. Um, so let's wait for this to boot up. And also, so you know there are fake outs on the Palo Alto login, right? So un until, until and unless you see PA-VM, um, you cannot uh, enter the uh, username and password credentials there, right? So you, we will have to give some five to ten minutes, depending on the type of uh, system you have, for the uh, Palo Alto firewall to initialize all the services, basically to initialize. So let's um, wait, and I will come back after this is uh, ready to be used. So after waiting for some time, you can you would see this screen and think that you need to log in here. But uh, remember, these are called the fake outs. And if you log in here, you will not be able to log in with the admin admin credentials. OK, and then after you enter, you will see PAHDF. These are the fake outs. Wait until you see PAVM. OK, the like now we can see uh, it has taken IP address from 192.160.20 dot range and that is 131 so we can go and log into this IP address say 192.168.20.131 with an HTTPS and this should land up us on the management page of the Palo Alto and the default username admin admin sorry admin and password admin and this is I think has not initialized so this will not let me reset the password let me try once more yeah it is asking for the password change required now if you do the same on the CLI this will also it is not basically um, showing the login here but uh, let's see if I can yeah so I can do it from here say admin new one would be admin at 4545 sorry admin at 4545 and this one would be admin at 4545 so this should be taken as new password okay and and that should be complete okay so there is a password uh, policy in place which um, requires you to have the password with the required um, I mean minimum um, requirements in the password it should be eight characters one uppercase one lower key okay so we don't have we didn't had any uppercase there so i'll keep the a as upper at 4545 admin at 4545 with the a caps and this should suffice yeah now after that i can go and log in with the new credentials um i mean username is admin password is admin with an a caps and at the rate 4545 and we are inside the palo alto gui and this is we uh, what we are running on the GNS3 VM. Okay, so 
uh, if you see here this is the palo alto which, which we were running on the gns 3 m and we connected this to the nat inter interface on the on the vm remember it's on the gns3 vm eth1 which is the uh, connected to nat and uh, yeah and so this is the palo alto version 10.0.0 you can also see it here software version let me show you yeah software version is 10.0.0.0 so um, hope you um, like the video and uh, if you follow as i did you should be able to install this in your gns3 and then we will move to the next uh, lesson um, and then finally after installing all the nodes we can create a good lab inside the gns3 so um, that would be all for this uh, lecture i will see you in the next lecture Thank you. Bye-bye.